National Security Advisor Shiv Shankar Menon calling the treatment given to Devyani Khobragade despicable and barbaric. India today strongly retaliated to her arrest on visa fraud charges. The Indian government has recalled the ID cards of US consulate staff, cards which give them the benefits of diplomatic immunity. They've also demanded to know the salaries of Indian staff working for the US consulates here. And the Indian government clear that it not only wants an apology for the way Ms. Khobragade was treated, she was strip searched, but also for the charges against her to be dropped. The Delhi police removing barricades outside the US embassy, part of retaliatory measures taken by India as details of Devyani Khobragade's arrest became public. She was strip searched, swabbed for DNA and shared a jail cell with drug addicts. A furious Indian government has recalled the ID cards of all staff and families of US consulates in India, cards that give them full diplomatic immunity. India wants to know what salaries are paid to all Indian staff employed in US consulates. Sources say since US consulates are technically US territory, then all Indian staff here should be paid American wages. All airport passes for consulates and embassies have been withdrawn. India has also asked for the visa details of all teachers working at US schools here and what they're being paid along with their bank account details. This is to determine if they're paying tax or not. And all import clearances for the American embassy have been stopped. For us, completely unacceptable. We have put in motion what we believe uh, would be effective way of, of, uh, uh, of addressing this issue, uh, but also in motion such steps that need to be taken to protect her dignity. The Home Minister Rahul Gandhi and Narendra Modi all cancelled their meetings with the visiting U.S. congressional delegation in protest. Former Foreign Minister Yashwan Sinha went as far as to suggest the invocation of Section 377 on U.S. diplomats in India. My suggestion to the government of India is the media has reported that we had issued visa to a number of U.S. Uh, diplomats' companions. Companions means that they are same sex. Now, the, after the Supreme Court ruling, it is completely illegal in our country, just as paying less wages was illegal in the US. So why doesn't the government of India go ahead and arrest all of them? Apart from the way Devyani Khobragade was treated, there is the issue of whether she broke US law by paying her domestic help less than the minimum wage. Indian officials insist this is a grey area and that if indeed the law was broken, why did the US embassy give the domestic help a visa at all, knowing full well that the minimum wage was actually more than Devyani's own salary. They also insist that the help was not exploited. Her medical insurance, food, lodging and travel for home for vacation were all paid for by the Indian government. The question though is, if diplomats can't afford to pay their domestic help U.S. salaries under U.S. law, then why hire them at all? In New Delhi, Nidhi Razdan for NDTV.